Hi, I'm Sandy McVeigh, and this is Microsoft Word 2010 Mail Merge Letters Part 2. So sometimes you may want to have more robust letters and then just the basic letter. These are all the files that you can find at my website. The address is www.tinyurl.com slash smcveigh. Sometimes you want something uh, other than just a simple and basic mail merge letter. So last time we put in the address block. Okay, so click the mailings tab, start the mail merge, choose letters, select your recipients. I'll use that trusty Excel database that we have. I'll choose the people sheet because that's where my data is. And I will put in an address block. This all looks fine, except this particular letter is to the parents and guardians of the students, not the student themselves. So I'm going to use the match field fe feature to realign the fields for the parents or guardian. I'll click OK. So now you see a parent return. If I don't have complete data, it will bring me, it'll put in what I have. So Mrs. Nature, I don't have a first name, so it'll just give me the salutation and the last name. I'll use the greeting line here as well. Okay. And if I don't have complete data, I want it to say sir or madam. You could also say to whom it may concern or have it blank. So now if you see if I flip through here, the preview. Record number 10 does not have enough information to give me the parent or guardian's name. So it substitutes sir or madam rather than just leaving a blank field. I'll click OK. I'll just get rid of that little placeholder I had to help me remind this. So now I'm going to show you, it's called a rule. And this is very helpful when you want to write a letter with pronouns. If you don't know the gender, then this won't do any good for you. But if you do know the gender of the person that you're sending the letter to, that will help you a lot. So let me just show you how this works. If I go to if then else, and I choose my gender field because I know that if the gender is equal to a capital M, that's a boy, that's a son. I want to insert the word son. Otherwise, I'd like it to say daughter because we only have two choices, a boy or a girl. We click OK, and now wherever the record is an M for male, in my letter it will say son. And wherever the record says F for female, it will say daughter. I have other placeholders here that I've just put in so that I remember to replace this. So again, I'll match that to the gender field. And if it's a capital M, I'll make it a him. And if it's not, it will be her. So we can do this at the beginning of a sentence as well. If we highlight, we just need to remember to capitalize those substitutions. So I'm coming back to gender again. And male. It would be a capital H for he or a capital S for she. There are lots of other functions that you can do. As you see, you can say equal to, not equal to, greater or less than. So you could look for the balance column, no balance, then you could say thank you for your payment, and if they do have a, a payment, you could have it say payment due. Just wanted to point out that you can reuse the regular merge fields anywhere you'd like. So we're going to use the regular first name for the student, and I've even reused it down here. So I'm going to insert a merge field and choose the date. Yeah, I'm going to preview the results. And now here's our letter customized for this particular person. Okay, this was the one that we didn't have all of the information for, so we didn't know that it was Mr. or Mrs. Martin, so it became Sir or Madam. They have Oliver, who is a son. If we look through here, 
Mr. and Mrs. Winter have a daughter, and Autumn will be coming. You can see that I missed this space here, but this is why we preview. So I can add this space, I'm still page one of one, I'm working in my template. And this is when I can go in and say, oh yes, and I missed this field, so let me replace this rule. And the gender again. Yes. And if not, her. Okay. And just like the basic letter, when I'm ready, I click Finish and Merge. Choose Edit Individual Documents and OK. It makes a brand new file for me. And it has pages 1 of 16. I am Sandy McVeigh, and this is Microsoft Word 2010 Mail Merge Letters.